Like in the last art video, we've attached this car's data to our uh, console, and we're just going to run through a couple more commands you can you can do. So, say we want to find the median of uh, one column given perhaps the conditions of another. So, in this case, we want to know the median of the price of cars, but not of all the cars. We want to know the median of the price where the type is uh, sporty. Because uh, if you remember from last time, we had about five, six different types of cars. And the reason this is useful is because then we can actually start to compare the types of cars. Okay, so if we can do this for one, we can do this for all of them. But So we put in the name of our column that we want the condition to be assessed by, and that's type. Then this double equal sign, which is a logical operator. So if um, the value is equal, if it, this is true, this this logical expression. So if the type is uh, sporty, okay, then um, it will find the price, and it's going to do that for all the sporty cars, okay, and then it's going to find the median of that. We've returned NA here, and that's because I've named the column wrong. Um, Sporty starts with a capital S. So all that it's done above is it's found out that for there's n for every single car type sporty with a lowercase p, it's false. So let's try to find the mean of nothing, which is and this correctly returned NA. So I'll just uh, correct that here. And uh, capital S. And that's something to watch out for uh, typos and I'm sure you've if you've watched these videos you got used to me making lots of them uh, this should be better there you go so now it's found the medium of the prices of the cars which are the sporty cars now what we're going to do is we're going to plot a histogram of all cars for the miles per gallon in the city and what would be nice about this is we could do this in the city and we could do this in the highway and we could compare that um, and of course to do the highway you put exactly the same commands in city and then we've seen histograms before but we put in you can put in the number of brakes um, yeah it's pretty self explanatory and this returns a nice histogram we could compare the distribution of the histograms in the city and on the highway uh, which, which could be a useful experiment as I say this data set is not really something I'm particularly interested in but you imagine if you had data set you, you were looking for some particular results then these types of things you're doing could be uh, particularly useful finally what we're going to do is we're going to plot the price against the miles per gallon on the highway and this is obviously quite useful leaving this car data set because we might want to know if a car is more expensive are we getting a more efficient vehicle are we getting better miles per gallon all right so we're going to just plot a scatter plot um, price mpg dot highway And yeah, here we go. Um, let's make that a bit smaller. Okay, so as the price goes up, we're actually getting, we seem to be getting a less efficient vehicle. Not, a, it's not a straight line. We get almost this little curve here, and, and that might be, you know, the price is going on other things, such as speed and uh, look and comfort and stuff like that, but. You don't, uh, you don't necessarily know. Like I say, we can't really infer too much on this data set, especially from one scatter plot. But it, it, it gives you an idea of how we can start to use uh, R to support our statistical inference and do things quickly. I mean, imagine if you'd plot this by hand, and it would have been an absolute mare. So the fact that you can just plot two columns against each other straight away returns you a nice, simple graph is really nice and yeah you know, um I think I've got a video particularly on scatter plots if you want to change the the colour of 
the points and all that and the labels of things but if I have them then I'll, I guess I'll make that in the future but yeah if I have then you'll see it linked in the cards um, that, that's all we're going to cover in this little video um, hopefully nothing in it was too taxing I uh, just wanted to run over a couple of bits and start to uh, bring together all the stuff we've been looking at in a way that, that shows you why you might need R or why R might improve your life if you are looking to get into um, data science and such oh, nothing we, we're covering this series or will cover in this series will get too complicated at least in the in the near future just want to go over the very um, basics if you do have any requests for this series of things that you don't know how to do in R that you'd like to learn or just general questions that you're interested in let me know down in the comments and I'll try to bring that to you uh, but for now that's it uh, happy new year and I hope to see you in the next one